Hi there, this is Elena with Black Sheep 303 Creative, and today I'm going to show you how to make a very quick and easy Halloween card for anyone who has realized at the last minute that they need to make some, some fast Halloween cards. So this is an SVG that I have designed. Uh, this is a slimline card front. It measures three and three quarters by nine inches long. And so you'll get that as long as, as well as the four spiders that you see here. Um, too small and too big. For this card, the slimline, I'm going to use the two glittery spiders. And then the word happy, as well as the shadow layer, will come with the SVG. And then this banner that cuts out the word Halloween will also come with it. And then there is an A2 sized card front as well. This piece of purple cardstock is something you'll have to supply on your own, as well as the sequins. So. All the cardstock I use is from Gina K. So really all you need is the SVG, an electronic cutter obviously, it, w it should work in um, a scanning cut, a Cricut, or a Silhouette, and who knows any other kind of cutting machines that will work with an SVG. The SVG is linked in the video description and over on my blog, and it will be available for as a free download until October 31st, 2020. After that, we'll see where it goes. <laughs> and so I've just backed the Halloween sign there with a piece of uh, wild lilac cardstock. The sign itself is made out of key lime cardstock. As I mentioned, it's all Gina K cardstock. I think I said that. Um, the card base was ma made out of tangerine twist cardstock, and the webs are uh, black onyx, and the black glitter cardstock is not Gina K, obviously. So I'm just going to adhere all of this together with some liquid glue, really, really straightforward, no special skills involved, and then we're going to add some dimension to the spiders. So I've got a Copic marker, it is C7, and I'm just, it's a dark gray, and I'm just drawing right along the edge where the legs meet the body. So it kind of completes the legs, but it also puts some shading to make the legs appear that they are lower than the body. And so then I'm also going along the lower edge of the legs and adding in some shading to again make the legs look a little more dimensional than they do just as a flat straight die cut. This helps a lot, I think, and it's definitely worth it. And it's easy coloring, no fancy skills involved. And then I'm just going to sort of make the head stand out by drawing a shadow behind the head and then some little squiggly marks on the body for some decoration. And there you see how much better that spider looks now that he's got a little bit of dimension, a little bit of shading. And I'll do the exact same thing on the larger spider. So there you see both spiders done. And hopefully you agree with me that that makes a huge difference in the way those die cuts look. And then I'm gonna add two little eyes with some black um, dots here to the to the spiders. Now obviously spiders have eight eyes, but I'm not going for realism here. I'm going for more like cute spiders. But if you want to add eight eyes, you certainly could do that. And there they are completed and I'll just wait for them to dry. So now everything has dried, it's ready to go. And I'm going to add some dimension to the card by bumping the spiders up with some black foam tape on the bodies. So I'm only putting the foam tape on the bodies and then I'm gonna kind of bend the legs and then sort of round them a little bit. And then I'm gonna bend back the very bottoms of the legs like little foot pads kind of because I, I'm going to adhere the spiders to the card with the legs, like the feet, as you see here, directly onto the card and the body will be bumped up for a little added dimension. So I just put glue on the very ends of the feet or the legs and then I will glue them down. Now I realize here that I meant to put the banner down first. So I set the spider off to the side for a second and I'm gonna realize I gotta trim down the purple piece behind the banner and then I'm gonna take some tape runner and adhere this banner right across the lower front of the card. The banner is eight inches long by three quarters of an inch wide. Now obviously you can resize any of this um, it's really easy to do if you want to make a different size card and you will see at the end the A2 size uh, version of this as well. So you just got to play around depending on the size of card that you want to make. So I adhered the other spider exactly the same way and then I'm just using some liquid glue to adhere on the happy. And as a last 
final touch, I'm just going to glue some purple, green, and gold sequins kind of scattered around on the card to just finish it off and get a little, give it a little extra Halloween sparkle. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So if you need to make some last minute cards, just grab this SVG and some cardstock and some sequins and liquid adhesive and you are good to go. These have come together really quickly and with some very minor shading on the spiders, it really adds some dimension. And I think they turned out pretty cute. Hopefully you agree with me. I'm kind of liking the whole designing SVGs thing. Hopefully you guys are, uh, like them too. <laughs> and that's the completed Slim Lion card. Pretty cute for very, very little effort. At least I think so. And then here in a second, you're going to see the A2 size card. So not too different, just different size. And I used a gray spider and I gave him some fangs with a little, uh, white gel pen there so he's kind of funny i do add in some mouths onto the glitter uh, spiders that you'll see in the photos and then the green lettering from halloween is the on that banner is the are the letters that were cut out of the banner on the slim light card that i just recycled onto the a2 and then i die cut out the happy twice and i added some clear spectrum noir sparkle marker to the a2 size letters for a little you know halloween glitz and there's the close-up of the spiders. I think they, that shading really made a big difference. So if you need to make some last-minute Halloween cards, and you don't have a lot of time, please feel free to download the SVG. Um, that's free through October 31st, 2020 in the video description and on my blog, along with all the other um, supplies that I used for the projects. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And leaving a comment really helps me out, so I love to hear from you and hope you have a great Halloween.